Art of Dying, we're on Shiprock right now on the last day. Um, how's it been so far? It's been great. It's just been an absolute blast. Yeah, bands are rocking out. So Johnny was on it last year. Um, you guys obviously weren't. He was just there for fun. Did he tell you about it when he came back? And were you guys excited about it when you heard about it? Oh yeah, he came back and just said, you know, we, we have to do it. And so when we got offered to uh, do it this year, we just jumped all over it. You were added on kind of late. Was it because a band pulled out? or? You know what? Good question. I'm not sure. Um, I'd like to think that they just wanted us. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not sure. And last year we didn't really see much from you guys touring-wise, um, and you played a new song actually on the beach the other day. Does that mean we're going to expect some new music soon? Yeah, we've uh, been writing all year. We actually were in Nashville for a week before we flew to Miami, kind of finishing up the record, getting those last few, hopefully, singles down. So yeah, we're really stoked, really proud of it, and there's going to be a new record coming out real soon. So the new song that you played, you actually played it um, acoustically. Um, is the new stuff going to be a little bit heavier once it's you know full plugged in electric? Yeah, you know, like we we love to play acoustically just to you know the guys are so great at three part harmonies, so we like to just uh, break it down. But it'll be a heavy record for sure. You know what? We're a hard rock band at heart, and uh, you know the the new song we actually wrote that at Kale's place, and just it's such a the crowd loves it. You know, you talking about that high that that song or something like that. So. Yeah. They were singing along, so yeah, it was just kind of a fun, and it was just a good venue to do it on the beach, and so, yeah. Yeah, it sounded great, so. And on the last album, you actually had a collaboration. Is there any chance that you would do something like that again? Probably, yeah. We're talking to a couple of our friends, and just going to kind of keep things organic right, organic right now and see what happens, And but it wouldn't surprise me. If you could pick anyone, you know, even dead or alive, that you could collaborate with, who would you pick? Staley, I'm talking about Steven Tyler maybe, you never know. That would be a pretty good one. Yeah. So you guys definitely seem like you like to party. Uh, what's your craziest tour story so far? <laughs> it's every day with us, man. Honestly, I know it sounds uh, cheesy, but we're, we're kind of like a work hard, play hard band and, and just uh, we kind of don't stop. You know, it's just kind of how we roll and we're, we're best buds anyway. So we just really enjoy each other's company and hang out and craziest tour story though. I, there'd be a scroll, I don't even know, like, <laughs> I'm not even kidding, oh yeah. <laughs> Do you guys ever play any tricks on each other? You know what, we kind of, uh, kind of kiboshed that a while ago. Um, I did something to Kale in LA when we were making Vices and Virtues. It didn't go over well, so we just kind of don't do it anymore. What did you do <laughs> to him? Sleeping and laptops and uh, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> he woke okay. up to a, a couple of nice little surprises. <laughs> so what can we expect from you guys in 2014 touring wise are you ready to get back out on the road yeah we're uh pretty much like i mentioned finishing the record and just itching to get back out there like we can't record it fast enough right now so now that we're we got that nashville trip under our belt and we're finishing things up i i mean we'd like to be on the road full time by the summertime i mean it might be a little aggressive thinking that way but hopefully awesome well hopefully we'll see you again soon